Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you my concertina album card. Um, I've never had a go at one of these before and I've seen quite a few all over the place and I thought I'd have a go. Um, <clears throat> and to be honest, what I liked most about this was that I used the Memories and More card, uh, Tropical Oasis Memories and More cards. They're fabulous size, so the smaller ones are used inside, the larger ones are actually just cut down a fraction to go on the front and just the insides. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me show you a little belly band of the gorgeous braided ribbon there. Um, and it simply opens up, so again you've got perfect for a holiday or a honeymoon maybe, um, or just to make some memories of a trip, but obviously I've got this sort of nice and simple front panel there. The back here we can write any sort of memories or reminders and then as I said it, we sort of have a bit of a, a concertina thing going on here. So it's a bit hard to show you all in one, one <laughs> film but basically um, there's the option here for adding a photograph and again some written memories. Same here and here and then if I open it back the other way Again, space for photos, and again, just on there, adding photos. The best is yet to come. I think that's great to have at the very end. Um, but as you can see, as I said, it literally just folds out as a concertina, and it really actually was quite easy to make. I did amaze myself. Um, there's a lot of measurements in terms of making it, but apart from that, it's actually quite simple. So to start off with them, you're going to need your um, long sheet of cardstock for your cover. So this is 12 by 3 and 3 quarters. And then we're actually just going to score in the spine. So on the long side, so as I said, it's 30, uh, sorry, 12 by 3 and 3 quarters of an inch. Uh, in centimetres, that's 30.5 by 9.5. And then on the long side, we're going to score at 5 and 3 quarters and 6 and a quarter. And in centimetres, that will be 14 and a half and 16. And that's it. OK, that's the simplest part of that. And then again, we're just going to fold and burnish those score lines. And I'm going to not make my usual uh, excuse, but I did do this a little while ago, so I might stumble with some of the bits, remembering how I did them, but hopefully not. So there's your folder uh, cover, if you will, for your, for your card. So the next thing then is your actual card. So I've got one two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven card bases that are five and a half by three and a half inches or 14 by nine centimeters. One isn't scored at all. The other six are all scored just half an inch from one end. On just one end, all of them are scored at half an inch, which is about 1.3 centimeters, okay? Once you've scored them all, and you'll see why I've done all of this ahead of time because it will just take ages. Um, once you've scored them all, then pop tear and tape on the back of where you've scored. Okay, so you've got your score line here, add your tear and tape to that part. Once you've done that, you then need to adhere these together. Okay, so take the backing off your first card if you can. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, it's going to take longer than I thought. <laughs> take the backing off and then I'll just quickly check where I started with this one. So what you're going to do is alter alternate. So my score line is to the left here, the backing I've taken off is to the right and then I'm simply lining, <coughs> excuse me, lining them up okay so that will now open that way and if I bend my score line there you have you can score them beforehand I find it easier to line them up when they're not scored so we're going to carry on take the backing off 
Okay, so that one worked that way. So now my yeah, so now my score line is going to go again to the right, and this time I'm going to line this one up. So you're basically lining them up with the edge that doesn't have the score line. Okay, so you can see now how this is working. So obviously we're going to carry on all the way. Oops. So we're adding this to the side that isn't scored. Line it up. Press it down. Flip it over. Take your tape off. Add it to the side that isn't scored. And obviously you'll take a little bit longer doing this. I'm just rushing through so I can show you how it should be. Getting a bit heavy handed with this tear and tape and pulling it off before it's ready. <laughs> so again, line it up. And obviously once you've lined them all up, they should just sit nicely with no bits overlapping. So my last, last piece here will go onto my unscored piece and then pop that down like that. So now you've got your concertina created. Okay, so then what you need to do, because these look a little bit unsightly, I think. So I created some, um, I think I called them page edge reinforcers. Okay, so they're simply pieces of card that are the same colour and I needed five of them and they are three and a half by one inch, so nine by 2.6 and then they're scored in half down the short side at half an inch or 1.3 centimetres. Tear and tape on both sides, just, yes, just remembered, give them a fold before you take your tear and tape off. Trust me, it's easier. So tear and tape off, pop them over your scored bit that you've lined up and press them into place. And as I said, it just reinforces that edge where they're joined. So then you work your way again down all of the pages oops so now this one is going to go on this one and I'm literally just lining the top piece up and then pushing it level against the spine okay so now you're going to work your way down and do all of the others Okay, so I don't need those to show you all of that. Once you've done that, you're then going to pick out your cards to decorate. So I already have some here and you've got these wonderful stickers as well within your um, Memories of More pack. So as always, this would take me so long to prepare for you guys. So here's the one I did earlier. So it's exactly the same, all my page reinforcers have been added to all of the bits I needed and I've added DSP and cards to all of my pages and you can obviously add them any way you like. And then on the back of your non-scored piece you want to be adding strips of tear and tape because this is going to sit inside your folder. So I'm going to take this backing off that really doesn't want to play games today does it? Take the backing off. How am I doing for time? I'm actually doing really well for time. I'm quite impressed. So this now sits just inside here. And again, the secret I would have for doing this is to, when you're adhering it, check the gap at this side, this side and the bottom. If they're all relatively equal, 
then you can guarantee that your last page oh, it's not quite square but square enough will <laughs> sit square okay so that's that bit done so that's my card actually completed but I want to decorate this now because I love them so on my inside I'm going to put this card now this is one of the larger cards not that one I may well have used the other side of it to be fair for something else oh no it's there so but I've cut it down as you can see so what I did to cut this down is I measured what size I wanted it to be and then I cut a fraction off each side so that I don't have it cut lopsided if that makes sense so I've cut it down and these front cards are actually now five and a half by three and a half inches or 14 by nine centimeters so you just keep shimmying a bit off either side until you've got them equal so I'm really happy with that one where's my snail there it is so I'm actually going to put I'm changing it up here because this was originally going to go on the front but I quite like it so it's going to go on the inside here and all the measurements are going to be on my blog so don't worry if you think well you haven't told me what size all of this is these um, small memories and more cards I haven't cut down at all there were actually the whole album was based on these because I wanted a layer of DSP and then obviously the card as well so they were all based around the small sized memories and more cards and then so I've got that I might just add a little sticker or two to this so thinking of you today and always and let's add one of these beautiful flowers here so I'm going to pop that one just there I've as you can see I've used the beautiful tropical oasis trinkets here so I have a, a guitar on this one and I think on the one that I've made previously I have a little pineapple here I love that pineapple and one of the flowers just there I think they're fabulous I love them I love pineapples as well um yeah I've, I've always had a thing for pineapples and koalas my two favorite things random I know because they're from different places but anyway and so then on the front I'm going to pop this one so again same size as the internal card so five and a half by three and a half or 14 by nine and then this is just going to sit on the front there and I'm going to add a little trinket to this one and I think the guitar would work perfect on this one or actually you could use one of the beautiful palm leaves I'm not going to add too many to this one but no I'm going to add the guitar because I just think that would be ace on this so as you can see I'm just literally using a glue dot to stick that on and then again I've got the uh, braided burlap trim and I'm just going to pop a length of that around here if I can find my scissors and then I didn't want to tie a bow because this is quite thick and I just didn't think it would work so well you could obviously use ribbon if you wanted to or um, anything really that goes with whatever you're using so and I actually just want to fray the ends of this slightly because I just think that looks adds a bit more character doesn't it so I'll just pull those apart and then I'm going to slide it up slightly so you can still read what's on there and there you are there's my concertina card hope you like it hope it's given you some inspiration and I'm glad that my video didn't go on for hours <laughs> as I said all the measurements are on my blog all the products I've used are available in store and there's a link for that just below and also on my blog hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you all again soon bye